What's up guys, Farce Knight here and welcome to the very first Friday Under 5 where basically I try to consolidate all this information within a 5 minute video so I don't go on a ramble about a bunch of random stuff that you don't care about. Friday Under 5 is going to consist of videos that have to do with the software development community, freelancing, anything that I said can fit under 5 minutes. With this episode being about how to prepare to become an iOS freelance developer. Now, I'm not currently an iOS freelance developer, that is a full disclaimer, but I am going to tell you how I am prepping to become an iOS freelance developer. Number one, what I did was I learned iOS development. So I learned Swift 3 and Xcode 8 and built a bunch of random apps with this course that I took. If you want to know what course that is, I'll link the updated version, the one that does Swift 4 and Xcode 9, down in the description below. Step number two is building your portfolio. And your portfolio doesn't necessarily need to be just applications that you're going to show to potential employers. What I'm doing is I'm building applications that I think people would enjoy on the App Store. So I'm currently building a stock trading application if you're interested in that, be sure to subscribe because I'm tracking that journey on this YouTube channel as well. And that application is going to serve multiple purposes. One, for my portfolio. Two, it'll help me learn everything that I'm integrating to this app. And three, it is going to be on the App Store. And it's really cool to have a, an app be launched on the App Store so that could potentially bring me money and revenue. And I plan on building a business around that application. However, if I wish to take on clients, then while I'm building that business up, I'm gonna to have to be building another app or another app or another app because you don't wanna just have one app and say, I'm ready to be a freelancer. You want to have, I would say at least two under your belt or however you feel comfortable enough. And a lot of people say two, I've already made two applications. I mean like fully integrated applications where you're pulling an API and you're doing a bunch of different things within this one application, not like one application I'm pulling an API, another application I'm, I made an awesome UI, another application it's like a social media application. I'm talking about a fully integrated application, you want at least two, you know, as many as you can until you feel comfortable enough to take on clients. And that brings us to step number three. Now you've built some apps for your portfolio, but you want to make sure you have an online presence. For me, it's YouTube, LinkedIn, GitHub. For you, you want to at least have LinkedIn and GitHub. So LinkedIn, that's just a professional social media site. If you don't know what it is, look into it because if you want any career, especially in the tech industry, it's a good idea to have LinkedIn. GitHub is something where you push all of your code to. Now, some of these applications, you may not want to show all of your code. So if that's the case, you want to show as much as you can without giving away everything. Of course, you're gonna have a git ignore folder in your repository so you don't show all of that personal information for your application. But when it comes to showing off your portfolio, I know this is a freelance video, but when you're looking for a career, those jobs are gonna to want to see what you're capable of and how your code base looks. But when it comes to clients, they might not necessarily care so much about what the code base looks, but what you're able to do is add a readme file within your GitHub repository, and you can integrate pictures and a bunch of text in order to explain how this application works. And it shows your UI, how everything functions, and it allows you to explain what your application is. And people can just go into your GitHub, scroll down in that repository, and they're able to see all that information. And that brings us to step four. Now remember, step three is just consolidating your portfolio in order for clients to see what they would be getting. Step four is marketing yourself to clients. There are many different ways to market yourself, and that can be in its own video of its own. I can't really go into too much detail and keep this video under five minutes, but market yourself, whether you wanna go on one of those sites like Freelancer or Upwork or any of those sites, that's fine, but a lot of times you're gonna get undercut, so that's why it's good to have an online presence and network as much as possible. If you want me to make a full-on marketing yourself as a freelancer, because I've talked to many people who have done it before and I understand business side of things and how to market a lot of different things that kind of worked in a marketing department just like this past year or so. Let me know and I'll be sure to make a video on that. And that brings us to step number five and that is you're essentially a freelance developer now once you obtain those clients. Sure, there's a lot of different things to go into but this video is about preparing yourself to become a freelance developer. Let's recap. One, learn iOS development. Two, build apps. Three, consolidate your portfolio in order for clients to see. Four, market yourself as an iOS freelance developer. And five, you're a freelance developer. So congratulations, I hope you enjoyed this Friday under five. If you wish to see more videos like this, be sure to let me know in the comment section. Be sure to subscribe so you can see more videos like this. And until next time, have a good one.